Welcome to Free Market News with John St. George. News, business solutions, products, services, all with a free market perspective. And now the host of the show, John St. George. Free Market News. Welcome. Alligator Ron Bergeron, welcome to Free Market News. Well, thank you. I'm honored to, to be on your show today, and uh, it's a great day here in Florida. You got that one. Now, the past four years, we've had amazing business results for the free market in South Florida. Now, things have changed. First, COVID hit us. And second, a new administration with what appears to be an opposite philosophy towards the free market is now in power. Now, Mr. Bergeron, you've run your company in South Florida since 1965. You've been through many administrations. So you have true free market experience in survival. What are the problems you see with the new lay of land? What are some of the problems you see here? Obviously, the COVID pandemic has really impacted not only Florida, but the whole United States. But I believe as we continue to go forward under the leadership of our governor, Ron DeSantis, letting us have freedom to go to work, feed our families, we know what the risks are. Or if you un- feel unsafe, uh, stay home and protect yourself if you have pre-existing conditions. So under that kind of leadership, the pandemic will pass and we will be in a better position where our economy isn't impacted dramatically. And and I'm very optimistic as Florida continues to have growth and also quality of life. You couldn't get me to move from the state of Florida. It's, in my eyes, the best state in the United States. Bergeron Development has survived through many administrations and economic climates since 1965. Serious business leaders, they know how to turn lemons into lemonade. What good things might there be for the business climate in the months to come for South Florida? Things the free market calls problems that someone like you may call opportunities. Well, you know, I've had Quite a journey in the business world as a a young man at 18 years old, uh, buying a little farm tractor for $300 and growing with Florida, one of the largest uh, site development and highway construction companies in the southeast of the United States. And I believe that uh, under the leadership of our governor, I think that Florida has a tremendous future with business, uh, people that are moving here because we have no state tax, we can balance a budget, we have the best weather in the United States, and we're surrounded by natural resources for a quality of life into the future. So your feeling is that since Florida has, you know, we don't have the state tax and so forth, we have a lot of good things in place which basically, compared to other parts of the country, makes our future look pretty good right now. Oh, our future is going in the right direction. I think that Everglades Restoration, the largest environmental restoration in the history of the world that affects 9 million people in South Florida, is extremely important. The most valuable resource on the planet is water. And through Everglades Restoration, we can provide water resources, flood protection, and a quality of life with our environment. Understanding that the Everglades replenishes the aquifer, our drinking water. Yeah. And in order to have future growth and a quality of life, we can't poison our water. It's important that people are focused on that because we still have great opportunities for people to live here uh, in this beautiful state. This is Free Market News on WWNN, the FM Money Talk Radio Network. I'm John St. George, and we are talking with, right now, Mr. Alligator Ron Bergeron of Bergeron Land Development. 
major influence with the historic big projects, I-595, I-75, Port Everglades, residential home projects. If I spent the time reading all the accomplishments, uh, we'd run out of time. And all right here in South Florida since 1965, what we're doing today on Free Market News, we want to find out how did a company like this deal with different administrations over the decades by learning from the past Focusing on the present, we can get a pretty good idea of what the future will hold under the current administration, how it will affect our pocketbooks and so forth, the way Florida is structured. Uh, Mr. Bergeron feels we are in a, a good direction. Alligator Ron, free market philosophy believes in ethical business freedom with limited regulation. The development business in South Florida has been described as a destroy the environment for a buck industry. Yet, as you've just been saving, you are in love with protecting the Everglades. Many people think developers could care less about the Everglades, but you have some videos that show that you are working to preserve the Everglades. How does someone like you balance the practical aspects of growth and development with preserving the environment? If you go back to 1947, we had a severe flood, four to six feet of water in people's houses. 1948, only four foot of water, mm. which was normal prior to flood protection. And when our forefathers drew a line in 1949, uh, right or wrong, this is where people will live, and inside these levees will be protected forever. That was very important so we could have a quality of life and growth, economic growth and jobs, important as well. So I believe that as we continue to go forward, as long as our natural resources that were set aside or protected, that replenishes our drinking water, that we can have growth and protect our environment, and have a quality of life for future generations. And under the leadership of our governor and our legislators that have funded the largest environmental restoration in the history of the world, that will allow us to have both. And what could be better than jobs and economical growth and a quality of life and protecting our environment? So we're on a very good path, and I think that people moving here for business, retired people are coming here, that we still have major opportunities for growth, jobs, and at the same time, a quality of life. So Alligator Ron Bergeron, when you take a look at a vast area to develop, you figure into the formula, all right, we have to change this, we have to dig here and dig that up there, but while we're doing that, what aspects of the environment do we have to protect and maybe preserve? You put that in the mix, don't you? Well, absolutely. And there's various regulations that, uh, and as long as you're outside of the levee that protects our natural resources, and long as you're mitigating for any uh, impacts for wetlands and isolated areas that were set aside for people to live here, those mitigations are actually offsetting the impact. But the good thing is that we have defined the boundaries of over 4 million acres of Everglades that will continue to be protected for future generations, and that's why we can continue to have a quality of life. All right, now you were just talking about some regulations. I want to get a look at that. I'm going to ask you some uh, a question about regulations. You're just tuning in. This is Free Market News on WWNN. We are talking with Florida land developer Ron Bergeron, known as Alligator Ron, of Bergeron Land Development, based right here in South Florida since 1965. And uh, the regulation thing, free markets believe in limited regulation. We're going to get some ideas of, of what Mr. Bergeron feels about limited regulation. Going to take a break, do a few announcements, and we'll be right back on Free Market News with me, John St. George. Hang tight. Free Market News with John St. George continues in a moment. 
Attention business owners, if you're trying to build new business with advertising, there is a great low-cost opportunity that's right in front of your nose that you're probably missing out on. Not only is it easy to use, but it's also the most cost-effective. It's the on hold button on your phone system. When you put people on hold, now they can hear a custom commercial about your business. It's called phone on hold advertising. Call St. George Productions in Fort Lauderdale for your own custom phone on hold advertising message. We script, voice, produce, and install. You can sell a lot more in just a few seconds when you put people on hold. This is very affordable. Get in touch with St. George Productions in Fort Lauderdale since 1994. Google St. George Productions Fort Lauderdale or call 954-587-1119. We make your business sound great. 954-587-1119. This is the only business talk radio station in South Florida. The FM Money Talk Radio Network. WWNN, Pompano Beach. And now back to Free Market News with your host, John St. George. Free Market News on the FM Money Talk Radio Network with John St. George on WWNN. And it's nice to have you here. We're talking with Florida land developer Ron Bergeron, known as Alligator Ron. And free markets are always looking at limited regulation. We need some regulations, but not excessive regulations. Ron, give us some examples of good limited regulation, in your opinion, in your business, and then give us some examples of excessive regulation that maybe you'd like to see go away. Let's start with the good. Well, I think the good regulation uh, that we're under today, when you're developing property outside of the boundaries of what our forefathers set aside on, on our environment, deals with projects pre-treating their water prior to entering state waters, and I think it's a good regulation that we meet quality of water. In most cases, our regulations are pretty fair in South Florida in order that, that we do not poison our water and we have clean drinking water, the most important resource on the planet. You got it. So I think in most cases, our regulations are reasonable. What are some of the excessive regulations you'd like to see go away? The only regulations that I believe, I think the regulations are in place are fair. The only thing is there's times where there's duplication of process. Ah. From three different agencies regulating the same thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I don't believe in duplication of process. I believe that one governmental agency would do the process and and I, I don't believe in duplication of process. Uh, yeah, well, government is kind of famous for that, duplication. Government duplication is where all the expense comes in and all the extra taxes come in. So if we can kind of keep an eye on that in our different cities and so forth, and it, it starts small, you know, you go to your city commission meetings and, you know, work your way on up and then vote accordingly, and that's how we keep it going. I'm John St. George on Free Market News. We're talking with the owner of Bergeron Development in South Florida, Mr. Ron Bergeron, known as Alligator Ron, and we're going to get an alligator story coming up here soon. Since 1965, Mr. Bergeron, he's been at the helm of this free market enterprise, and if you've been in business since 1965, you've gone through a, a lot of government administrations, you've had all the left curves thrown at you, some businesses going out of business when the regulation gets too tough, some survive, Bergeron has survived since all those decades, since 1965. And what the free market wants to do is learn from the past of this business, what they've done, and see how it can be applied to the present. And, uh, you know, we we're talking about water management. The economy of, of New York State has been really devastated for a number of reasons. Same thing with California. We have a 1,000 people a day moving into South Florida 
you are a man who builds the water management infrastructure. How do you see the state handling a thousand people a day coming in here? What do you see? We're very blessed regarding water. We have an average rainfall of 52 inches to 60 inches of rain. And I would say nine out of every 10 years, that is the average rainfall. So we're very blessed to have this resource. And the importance of Everglades restoration to store this water that laid on the half that our forefathers drew the line where we live today and be able to have that as water supply gives us the ability to have growth into the future and a quality of life on top of it. And I will say on regulation, there should be no duplication of of, uh, regulations. Remember one thing, if we want people to live here and have the American dream and affordable house, duplication of regulation is a pass through to the consumer. And and it's important that we can continue to have economical growth Mm -hmm. uh, and protect our environment. Well, that's a good thing to focus on, duplication of regulation. And that's more of a, that's kind of an absolute financial concept. And since we're talking with Alligator Ron Bergeron, we've got to get into this one. The prefix of your name, Alligator. Where does that come from? I mean, were you you really were wrestling alligators? Well, you know, as a family that's uh, been here all the way back into the 1800s, you know, the culture of the Glazeman in Florida, uh, wrestling alligators, no different than the Seminole Indians, is a culture sort of like uh, running with the bulls in Spain. So we kind of grew up in that culture. My grandfather was a game warden over the beautiful Everglades, and uh, we were raised in the cowboy culture and and the Glazeman's culture. And it's actually a culture that I'm uh, very, very proud of. I think the best part of my life is not only uh, as a businessman, very proud of that journey, but I'm proud that my culture never changed. I never traded my rope and horse in for a thoroughbred or my airboat for a yacht. And it's a wonderful part of my life, to be honest with you. Well, you have quite a collection of videos telling your story. One, you're dealing with survival of the Florida Panther. And then then you're dealing with another video or a bunch of videos about the wild hogs in the Everglades, the alligator history, and so forth. How's it going with the Panthers? You, you're, one of your videos, the Panthers were almost gone, and you were a major influence in helping them. Uh, tell us about that a little bit. Uh, if you go back into the 70s, we thought we had no Panthers, and we put together uh, a tracking team. We were able to find a very small population with interbreeding and genetic problems, and we formed in 1981 the Panther Study with scientists and biologists. To be honest with you, one of the greatest things that we've done is to bring the panther to a sustainable population, and the only sustainable in the southeastern United States where panthers roamed a century ago. Our, the Birds Run Everglades Foundation uh, is a, a nonprofit that basically has its own scientists and biologists, and, and we document all of the icon animals that live in the beautiful Everglades, and we're very honored to be a part of making sure that future generations have a quality of life and we do not destroy our environment, which is the reason why people come here from sawgrass to seagrass to find boundaries, and we can have growth as long as we protect the environment and our family is extremely honored and if you want to follow the education of how we're going to achieve this for future generations you can go on our websites with Birds Run Everglades Foundation and Alligator Ron and you will see how we're progressing to make sure that future generations have a quality of life and we have clean drinking water to where we can have economical growth and jobs, and long live the Everglades. 
Well, as we hear the words of an actual major developer in South Florida, and I don't think we can we can't help but come away with saying not all developers just want to dig it up and destroy and move on. Ron Bergeron and the Bergeron Development Company, Bergeron Land Development, proves the opposite there. And uh, Mr. Bergeron, I, I want to thank you very much for, for taking time to, to talk to us here on Free Market News. Well, I'm totally honored, and the American dream is still alive, and God bless America. Amen. And that was Ron Bergeron, owner of Bergeron Land Development, a free market business concept based in South Florida, born in South Florida since 1965. And Mr. Bergeron was green before green was cool. And Bergeron Land Development is free market green. All right. Private business works when you have personal responsibility and ethics. So... You're going to tear up the land and start building? Do you consider the environment? Well, Bergeron Development does that. They've always done that. And if you want proof, check out the tons of videos at the Bergeron Development website. And that's one thing to consider. The other thing to consider is Florida, we've got one of the best states in the country. And that's why we have a thousand people a day moving in here from you know, New York, California, New Jersey, Michigan. Those states have uh, they have some regulations in place that are making it impossible for people to live, work. And the policies in Florida are more free market friendly. So may they stay that way, all right? And according to Mr. Bergeron, the limited regulation policies will maintain the flow of economics for the benefit of business and ultimately the population. So may the free market continue to run right here in South Florida. I'm John St. George, and I want to thank you very much for listening to Free Market News. Tell a friend about it. You can check past free market shows on the WWNN website, which is fmmoneytalkradio.com. fmmoneytalkradio.com. Just, uh... Scroll down to the Podcast On Demand section. Look for Free Market News with John St. George. And if you're a business that believes in free markets, I'd love to hear from you. Hmm? Free Market News is on Thursdays at 11.30 a.m. and Saturdays at 5.30 p.m. And every now and then we may pop up here and there on different hours right here on the FM Money Talk Radio Network. The only business talk radio station in South Florida. This is it. 95.3 FM, 96.9 FM, and 50,000 watts coming at you. AM 1470. All right. You take care. You've been listening to Free Market News, produced by St. George Productions in Fort Lauderdale. To email your comments or questions, Google search St. George Productions Fort Lauderdale. That's St. George Productions Fort Lauderdale. 